I'm here with something really exciting, the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Lots of stuff going on here. 200 megapixel camera for the first time ever in a smartphone. Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1, all sorts of cool stuff. And we're going to unbox it and do our first impressions on it. So enough of me talking. Let's get to the unboxing. And here we have the Xiaomi 12T Pro. 200 megapixel camera, the ultimate camera. Now it has dropped the Leica branding, but it still has the Harman Kardon for the speakers, which I'm actually pretty cool about. I do like their speakers. Let's use the handy dandy unboxing tool here. It's been a while since I've had an opportunity to use my fancy knife. And for those of you who are curious about the knife, I always get questions. Uh, this was actually issued to me on a deployment when I was in the military back in 2010. So I, I'm not really a knife guy, but I'm glad I held on to it because I use it for this. So let's take it out of the box. It's about 800 euros is what this will run you. Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 6.67 inch display, which is nice. HDR10 Plus Dolby Vision 500 nits minimum, typical 1200 maximum peak. 1200 by 2712 resolution. There we go. Not quite 1080p, not quite Quad HD Plus. 120 watt charging, which is actually get the 120 watt charger in the box. Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, 120 hertz AMOLED display, which we love. Let's take the paper off. We'll take the sticker off. Voila. And here we have it. That is a massive camera sensor. Good gosh. I think it's the largest camera sensor that I've ever seen in my life. But it also comes with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro. Because of course, <laughs> wouldn't be Xiaomi if they didn't throw in a 2 megapixel macro, right? Xiaomi branding here, it's also 5G, tells you again 200 megapixel LED flash. Still has a 1080p video camera on the front, which I don't understand. 20 megapixel front facing camera, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second. It has a screen protector pre-installed already, which is nice. Fire it up here, volume rocker. Over here on the right hand side, along with the power button, nothing on the left hand side. Pretty good size camera module here, which you will see. Also comes with a case in the box, which is nice. Sim ejector tool. Got our documentation. Let's go ahead and put the case on here. So running MIUI 13 straight out of the box. Get rid of that as well. There we go. Nice fancy looking phone. Whoop, that it dropped. <laughs> what else is in the box here? We have the 120 watt charger. Also we have a USB type Looks like USB Type A to USB Type C. Yep, USB Type A to Type C. Very cool. So what I need to do now is go ahead and get this set up and all that jazz so we can get to go with it. Uh, 120 gigabyte storage, 8 gigs of RAM, initial option. They also have a 256 and 8 and a 256 and 12, you so care. UFS 3.1 for the storage and 24-bit audio tuned by Harman Kardon. I got the three point, there's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on here, USB-C, downward firing speaker. It does have stereo speakers on it. You have another one up there. Got an IR blaster for people who care about that, which is kind of interesting. It's got Bluetooth 5.2, so should be good for connecting your Bluetooth audio accessories to. And then it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery in here. No wireless charging, no reverse wireless charging, which is also kind of a Xiaomi thing that doesn't really make it into most of their phones. So yeah. Some interesting stuff here, a nice collaboration of power, sophistication, but also missing a couple things that we'd like to see in a flagship. But we'll go ahead and get, let me get this set up and I'll come back and we'll talk more about it later. So here we have the 12T Pro from Xiaomi. Bam, 200 megapixel camera. And then something a little befuddling, the eight megapixel ultra wide and the two megapixel macro. I mean, maybe they just didn't have room <laughs> uh, because they put such a massive camera on the back there, but yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, really, one of the big selling points, of course, is the camera. You've got the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1, plenty of power under the hood, and everything is built around this camera. It even shoots 8K video at 24 frames per second. And then you look at the front-facing selfie camera, and you're limited to 1080p video. And this is like, I don't know how, I don't understand this, because we're so far away from using 1080p video on the front, and yet Xiaomi and a couple other companies keep coming back and doubling down 
on this 1080p front facing video experience. And I'm like, why? Why do we keep doing this? 200 megapixel on the back, 20 megapixel on the front with 1080p video. It just makes no sense to me. But I do want to show you some photo samples. That's really why probably most people are here. There are a lot of phones you can get with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1, 8 Generation 1, all sorts of other hardware. Not a whole lot you can get with the 200 megapixel camera. So let's take a look at this. Got some shots here. Uh, went outside, took some stuff around my house, and then went down to the garden center down the street where I like to go sometimes and test out cameras. Lots of different flowers, foliage, plants, and things to look at there. So you can see a good variety of stuff here. Great sunshine, great exposure outdoors, lots of good vibrant colors to look at to really show off what the camera can do on this phone. And I think it does a good job. I think it does a really good job, and it's something definitely impressive for the hardware for the 200 megapixel camera. I mean, I don't know that we're necessarily going to be seeing a lot of 200 megapixel cameras roll out onto phones in the near future, except for maybe Samsung later on once we get to the beginning of the year. But this right here is, you know, kind of like the whole Cobra Kai thing strike hard, strike fast, no mercy. Hope I got that right. Uh, but you can see, yeah, it does punch well in, in, in its weight class when it comes to what it provides with the camera, with the selfie camera, with the portrait, with even some low light photos. And that's one thing you get here with the big sensor, the processing, low light photos, that's something that it does. I took a couple here just so you could see them. But overall, I think that Xiaomi did a good job with this phone. I think it's very well balanced in most of the other hardware aspects. Of course, you get 120 hertz refresh rate on the screen, big 6.67 inch display. We've got the fingerprint sensor on the front, which works out quite nice. We've got facial unlock technology as well. It's got 120 watt charging, which is insane. Charger in the box reported at zero to 100% battery recharge in 19 minutes, which is just utterly insane because it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery. So 200 megapixel camera, 6.6 inch display, 120 Hertz, HDR 10 plus, 5,000 milliamp battery, the whole nine yards. I mean, it's got basically everything in it you could throw except the kitchen sink and of course wireless charging and of course an official like IP rating and things like that. But that's kind of a common theme when it comes to Xiaomi and their phones. I don't know why they don't really like to put the IP68. They don't really like to put the wireless charging, their reverse wireless charging. Maybe they think that's not an important priority, just like the front-facing selfie camera when it comes to the 1080p video. It actually does take pretty good selfies. You saw a couple of those. But overall, I mean, it's a neat phone. I think it's something that probably will stand out for novelty people who just want to have the biggest, most massive camera they can get on a phone. And Xiaomi does that for you. They give you the biggest, most massive phone uh, camera that you can basically buy. So <laughs> that's all I've got. My unboxing, my first impressions of the phone. Been using it for about a week now. Tested out some of the stuff on here. Had a good time with it. And yeah, that's all I got. So if you have any questions or comments, and please go down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you like this stuff, if you want to see other videos outside of the normal Google and Samsung and Apple, then let me know so I can keep covering them and I'll keep covering brands like Xiaomi and other ones. So that's all I got. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.